Hey guys, Buds Education here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine tutorial series. And in today's episode, we're going to be giving you a quick introduction to sounds inside of the engine. So as of so far, our level is relatively dull, you can't hear anything. And to really engage the player and make the scene more immersive, you're going to need to get these sounds in. So if you take a quick listen, um, in the background you can hear the fire sound near my little sparks here. And that's pretty much what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be importing a custom sound into the engine and then creating a sound cue, looking at some of the nodes inside, and then most importantly, placing it into our scene. So without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, get started. So first things first, inside of the uh, content browser, you need to find some of your sounds. So I've just typed in fire here, you should have it in the starter content. And you'll notice there's two different types of sounds here. The first one is the sound wave, which is essentially the raw sound file. And then the second one is the sound cue. And this is a, a bit like blueprint, you have a whole bunch of different uh, nodes that you can add in here. You can play around with a few stuff and make it ready to bring straight into the engine essentially. So let's just start off by showing you how to bring in a custom uh, sound. To do that just go ahead and press import, find the file wherever it is. Um, I've got one on my desktop uh, called stabilizing here and I'm just going to bring that in and you can see it's done that and if I go ahead and open it up you can see we've got a whole bunch of different settings, but the most important bit is if I right click, press play, you should be able to hear it in the background um, and pretty much exactly, uh, just really to test to make sure it's all good. Now this is just a sound of uh, me just saying something for a game I was working on a while back. Um, but you can import whatever you want to, fire, gunshots, footsteps, whatever. Anyway, now we've got this, let's go ahead and create a sound cue. That way we can actually get it ready to bring into the, uh, into the scene. So to do that, just go ahead and right click on it and create sound cue. And once we do that, it's going to use the same name and add the little cue uh, file name extension. And then if we go ahead and open that up, we've got our base nodes. So the first one is the wave player, which is basically the sound. And then you've got the output. The output is pretty much the end point and is what the player is actually going to hear. Now, if we wanted to, we could put a few different things into this uh, in between uh, to play around with things. So I'm just going to go over a few different things we can play around with for now. Uh, those are going to include the modulator, some ran uh, the random stuff. Um, you are free, completely free to play around with some of the stuff. Um, you know, uh, but for now it's just going to be the random node modulator and the delay. Uh, so let's just go ahead and uh, play around with this. So first things first, let's add a modulator in. So a modulator is essentially going to modulate uh, the sound each time it is played. So if I go and click on that, um, to actually add the modulator just right click, type in modulator or just select it from the list, and then we can play around with the pitch maximum and minimum and then the same goes for volume maximum and uh, minimum so i'm just going to set this to 0 0.5 and i'm going to set this to one for now and if i press play a couple of times you're going to hit you're going to hear it's a different volume each time uh between 0 0.5 and one so i press this once and you can hear now, you should be able to hear now that it's very different each time that I play it. It's very hard for you. There you go, nice and quiet. And it changes each time. The same goes for the pitch. Um, you're not really going to be able to hear that too much here. Uh, so I'm not going to try and give you an example. But that's essentially what modulation allows you to do. It allows you to pretty much um, vary it to, uh, well, modulate from one uh, from the minimum to the maximum. You might want to do this for things like gunshots or footsteps just to add that little bit of variation because you don't want to hear the same thing over and over and over again the player. The player is really going to notice that. So the next thing is uh, random. So if you have something like a gunshot you may want to put something in here. So let me just go ahead and find some kind of sound that I can use for this. So in my starter content, I'm just going to go and look for some sounds. What do we got? Audio, 
and we've got explosion one and two so let's go ahead and do that i'm going to bring both of these in just by clicking them and then dragging them in just like that and i'm going to hook these up into one and two and then i'm going to add in the output into here so we know what we're playing if i press play once it's going to play one sound if i press it again it's going to play another one and it's going to be completely uh, random with this um, however what we can do is add weights which is going to increase the chance that a certain uh, input of this one or two is actually going to be played so I could set the weight to 0 0.5 on uh, or 0 0.1 on the first one so if I press play it's going to do it uh, more often for number one because it's got the higher weight you won't be able to see it in the sound cue editor here but in game that's pretty much how it works if you want more than two uh, sounds um, say I wanted to bring in this smoke sound uh, we've only got two inputs here if I drag that in and then press add input we get the third one and then we can chuck it in just like that and if we press play you can see it will choose between one of the three here now and that should be all fine and dandy um, yeah the last one I want to show you is delay P quite simple really uh, so if I wanted to I could play this sound and chuck and then I could uh, have a delay like uh, maybe two seconds and then it will go to the output so if I press play it's gonna wait two seconds before you actually hear it um, that's pretty simple really um, just play around with some of the sounds that you get inside of the engine there's a whole bunch of different stuff there's also a whole bunch of different nodes you can play around with do whatever you want um, but yeah it's pretty much everything Oh, and sorry, one last thing, uh, find your sound cue once you've actually made it, do whatever you want to. Uh, I forgot to show you how to actually bring it into the scene. So I open up my sound cue, double click that, hook up the output in here, save it, and then just going to bring it into the scene, just click it, drag it in, just like that. And it's really as simple as that. We can play around with stuff like the volume multiplier, if I set that to 2, it's going to be twice as loud. We've got a few things like um, attenuation if we wanted to, so you've got this little bit of fall off. Um, obviously you've got the bigger ring out here. Um, that's pretty much the end line for when you're going to stop hearing it. If I press play, you can hear it, but as I get further away, it gets quieter and quieter. I'm pretty sure I showed you that in the video textures tutorial. So let me just go in, get closer. Uh, at the moment I haven't set it to loop, so you're not going to hear it more than once. Uh, that's something you're going to have to set up in here. Anyway, it's pretty much everything. Thanks for watching, comment, like, and subscribe, and I will keep, and I will, uh, see you next time. Thank you. Bye.